All right, so here we are at the Canopy Hotel here, the Hilton. And yeah, so we're going inside. Also have the back entrance here. I'll show you over here. This is the back door side. We've got a market there. But let's go back up and check out level two. So here we are at level two. This is actually where the restaurant is. It is one in the afternoon, so it's not open. Or is it? Let's see. Tap beers. Are you guys open? Uh, four o'clock. Got it. Thank you. All right. comfy chairs. I'm definitely coming back here. Okay, so here's a look at the actual gym. Here's a look at the gym. This is in the basement level. Free weights. Elliptical. water here and here is a look at the room now it is checkout time I forgot to actually film this when I checked in but you can see here's my bag it's got an area to do your laundry shower shoes a robe and then here is the actual bathroom like I said I apologize for the mess I just got done staying here um, so Bed's obviously not made up. I just kind of put it back together a little bit, but nice desk. Uh, they don't do bottled water. They give you a water cup to do refills, which is great for the environment, obviously. The desk has the uh, USB and two outlets. Now this also has a USB charger and uh, outlet on both lamps. This is comfortable as can be. I'm gonna lounge on that before I go to the airport. There's my view, downtown Boston. So, there you have it. And now for my final review of the canopy here in Boston. So, I stayed in Boston for three nights. I stayed two nights at the Homewood Suites, which you guys saw in the last video. And then I stayed one night here at the canopy by Hilton. Both of those properties, by the way, or Hilton's. Uh, I didn't stay at any Marriott's while I was in um, Boston or any Hyatt's. But just so you know, right now I'm in West Virginia when I'm making this. I've, I've got a bit of a backlog with videos. So this canopy, I would say, is a new hotel. I don't think it's a renovation. I think it's a new construction and everything felt new, modern, and clean. Also spacious, contemporary, modern, Everything about it that you could possibly want is there because the location is amazing. Everything is in walking distance right there. Whereas the Homewood Suites, I felt like I was really far away from everything and I had to walk. Uh, here, you know, you've got a Gordon Ramsay uh, burger joint just down the road. Uh, you've got many different bars, the Oyster Bar. Um, 
I mean, it's, it's a really great location. I don't think you're going to find a better location, a better hotel quality. Uh, I would have to say this is quite high up on the list. Um, it's not quite the luxury. It's a bit more of a chic kind of uh, efficient hotel. I mean, even the water, uh, you know, you don't get water bottles. You get bot a bottle and you fill it up with filtration um, water which is good because, you know, how many bottles of water do we go through for whatever reason? Uh, and I made sure that the bottle was clean and it was, there was no particulates in the water and the glasses that I would use. So everything was very clean. Uh, the bed was super comfortable and I would have to rate this as a uh, 4.9. I mean, that's about as high as you can get. The only thing I wish was a little bit better, I guess, would have been just more amenities at the hotel. Um, the bar, the bar and the restaurant, as you saw, wasn't open, but maybe a pool would be nice. There was no pool, um, but the fitness center is down on the basement level. But now let me give you a little bit of idea of what to expect moving forward. Uh, I'm still in the USA. I almost went to, I almost booked a flight to Asia today, uh, just because it seems like I've been getting a lot of, uh, was the weather out here has been gray skies. I mean, it was gray in Boston. It was great for the most part in New York. And here we are in May, you know, and I'm just like, man, there's gray skies always. It just wears on me. I went to Pittsburgh. It was rainy and gray. Even in Morgantown, West Virginia today, it rained. Here I am in Charleston. I saw a little bit of sun. I'm looking to go a little bit further south now, uh, maybe towards North Carolina and um, Tennessee. I'm hoping to get there. There is no guarantees. But my plan is to go uh, possibly to Charlotte or Asheville because I can't really take a bus unless I want to go on a bus for 12 hours or 14 hours and do multiple different layovers. That'd be a Greyhound. It just doesn't sound like fun. So I basically have to fly out of Charleston, West Virginia here. And I would probably fly to Charlotte or Asheville. There's no direct flight to Asheville, so it would have to go through Charlotte either way. Um, and then the good thing about that is I'd get Asheville and then I could go to Pigeon Forge, uh, Gatlinburg, that area, and then go on to Nashville, assuming I still have the energy and the encouragement and the weather is good so that I could keep on going. That's the plan. What do you guys think about that? You guys follow my other channels. You can watch our other videos, Island Hopper TV, uh, Travel Highlights, the main channel, Island Hopper TV. And uh, I'm also doing Vert Cam, which is making videos about the transportation process, but that's what my plan is. What do you guys think about that? What would you like to see more of? And we'll see you on the next one. And uh, you got a Pittsburgh video coming next, as well as not a West Virginia. I'm not doing the West Virginia hotel, but uh, yeah, some more stuff coming from uh, North Carolina or Tennessee. So see you on the Pittsburgh one at the very least.